Today we're going to go over some bass solo fill ideas uh, using chords and arpeggios. Chords and arpeggios are great. Um, the chords really help you make sense of the entire key and uh, the fretboard, how it works on the bass guitar. Um, also how licks that you probably already know how they actually function within the song and, uh, and how they relate to other licks and it gives us some good connective tissue for everything. The first thing that we're going to look at is the chord shapes themselves. Um, I assume that you already know the major scale and uh, how to build simple chord shapes. These chords are have the intervals of 1, 3, and 7. So it's uh, 1 and a, obviously a major or minor, 3rd and 7th. Uh, on bass guitar, sometimes it's better to play the, the extensions that mean more than say just like a 4 and a 5, um, which sometimes don't tell you whether the chord is major or minor. So what we're going to learn is how to harmonize the major scale uh, using chords. Um, starting in C, the first, and it's very important that you memorize this order, this, uh, this will help you out for a long, long time. The order of chords, the first chord is going to be major, it's major 7 in this case, we're playing 1, 3, 7. The second chord is going to be minor, this is D minor 7. The third chord is E minor 7. The fourth chord, F major 7. 5 chord is G dominant 7. The 6 chord is A minor 7. The 7 chord is B minor 7 flat 5. Um, but typically in um, modern music, you know, except for jazz and blues, we really don't play a flat 5 that much. Um, it does show up every now and then. But uh, what we'll do is we will use the just minor 7 shape for that. So it'll be B minor 7 in this case. So again, all the way through the scale, it should sound like this. Descending, and we'll throw in the flat 5 chord just for fun. To arpeggiate the chords, all we have to do is uh, play one note at a time. So it would sound like for C major 7. D minor 7 would sound like. And now, I'm not tying those notes together, but you could let them all ring. You're just hitting them at different times. Uh, but going up the scale could sound like. descending, even within the chord descending notes from uh, high to low. Now sometimes in the lower registers uh, you'll hear these chords, it's kind of muddy and it's kind of hard to hear what they are, but the same chord and octave up is really pretty, especially with hammer-ons. take How Great Is Our God. The first chord in the song is C major, it goes to A minor, and then to F major. And so if we start on C, on our way to A, what we can do is um, arpeggiate the C major 7, the B minor 7, and land on A. Okay, here we go. Now that we're on A minor, what we can do is uh, 
on our way to F, we can hit A minor 7, G7, seven, dominant 7, to F. Okay, within the context of a song, we can actually, um, not only can we go down, but we can go up. We don't have to stay in order. Uh, it's best to use your ears, but uh, you can, I'll do them going all the way down, and then we'll climb from F all the way back up to C, which would be. So one time through. <laughs> 